Please, listen to me, Laban replied. I have become wealthy, for Yah has blessed me because of you. Tell me how much I owe you. Whatever it is, I'll pay it. Jacob replied, You know how hard I have worked for you, and how your flocks and herds have grown under my care. You have had very little before I came, but your wealth has increased a lot. Yah has blessed you through everything I've done. But now, what about me? When can I start providing for my own family? What wages do you want? Laban asked again. Jacob replied, "Don't give me anything. Just do this one thing, and I'll continue to feed and watch over your flocks. Let me inspect your flocks today and remove all the sheep and goats that are speckled or spotted, along with all the black sheep. Give these to me as my wages." In the future, when you check on the animals you have given me as my wages, you'll see that I have been honest. If you find in my flock any goats without speckles or spots, or any sheep that are not black, you will know that I have stolen them from you. All right, Laban replied. It will be as you say. But that very day, Laban went out and removed the male goats that were streaked and spotted, all the female goats that were speckled and spotted or had white patches. And all the black sheep, he placed them in the care of his own sons, who took them a three days' journey from where Jacob was. Meanwhile, Jacob stayed and cared for the rest of Laban's flock. Then Jacob took some fresh branches from poplar, almond, and plane trees and peeled off strips of bark and uncovered the white part inside the branches. Then he placed these peeled branches in the watering troughs where the flocks came to drink. For that was where they made it, and when they made it in front of the white streaked branches, they gave birth to young that were streaked, speckled, and spotted. Jacob separated those lambs from Laban's flock, and at mating time he turned the flock to face Laban's animals that were streaked or black. This is how he built his own flock instead of increasing Laban's. Whenever the stronger females were ready to mate, Jacob would place the peeled branches in the watering troughs in front of them. Then they would mate in front of the branches, but he didn't do this with the weaker ones. So the weaker lambs belonged to Laban, and the stronger ones were Jacob's. As a result, Jacob became very wealthy, with large flocks of sheep and goats, female and male servants, and many camels and donkeys. Did you notice that in the same breath Laban double spoke? He pretended like he wanted to pay Jacob fairly. But before the day was out, he went back on his word and had his sons take the speckled flock away, and Jacob had nothing to start with. So he said one thing and did another. His actions didn't match his words. Do you think that's showing righteousness? Discuss the scripture story with your family as well, and see what light you all come to. Shalom. Shalom.